guys. Uh, glad you're here. Glad you're hanging out with me. A uh, little bit. Let's get let's get serious for a little bit. Okay. I know I do the daily bits and I talk about mental health quite a bit. Um, but let's let's get serious, really serious for a moment. So there's a song. It's by a artist called Jelly Roll. Uh, it's called S S Save Me, I believe. I believe it's either somebody save me or just say I think it's Save Me. Um, and the whole song he's talking about how he's broken uh, and you know don't waste your time on him. Uh, he's damaged. Uh, but there's a lot of us probably feel that way, like all the time. Um, I, you know, sometimes I feel like that. I feel like that. I have some baggage in the past that it's, uh, you know, it's hard. It's hard to go back to. Uh, stems from abuse. Um, this is no way reflecting uh, me and my wife. Uh, my wife, uh, Mrs. Bits, as you know her, uh, brought me out of brought me out of a hole um and actually showed me that hey uh maybe I'm not that worthless I know I, I know what was me what was me um you know I like in some of the relationships I was in um for some odd reason as a broken person uh or somebody that's you know I mean, I, I didn't have a lot going on with me. I was just a big fat nerd. And, you know, fi finding the first girl that gives you any type of attention, you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, it's going to be great. Um, you know, I was with a couple people, one for about seven years, um, prepared to spend my life with. Um, there's some things I never really talk about. When, when I talk about past relationships, I never talk about abuse. Um, and this isn't me getting a pitchfork and going after my ex. This is um this is just something maybe a learning experience for you guys so you don't do the same. So, you know, I went from relationship to relationship, you know, and usually with bad people because for some odd reason I was attracted to toxic people. Uh you know, one girl, she's dead now. For real. She's actually actually died, which sucks. Um you know, she cheated on me like three times. We was living in a house together, and she moved her family in on me, and uh, <laughs> like stole, out, taking all my money and all that crap. And then I finally got a backbone, kicked her out, and ended that. Um, that was some abuse right there. Now, sometimes, like when you love somebody, uh, you kind of let them get away with things. And you know, I I love this person. I obviously let him cheat on me three times and fuck me over like several times um it hurt it sucked it sucked right um then we broke up and i was like okay lesson learned lesson wasn't learned because within a couple more years later uh i got with somebody i thought was uh, going to be perfect um uh, again I, like i don't know about you guys if you're broken uh if you uh you know <laughs> feel like you're not where you usually attract uh, toxic people, because, you know, some toxic people, they just look at you, it's like, well, I'm going to take you for everything you have, now, I was with this person for seven years, seven years, um, was, you know, you know, I, I talked about how, hey, I, I lost everything, um, you know, I had to sell all my stuff, uh, my car completely died, um, you know, all kinds of stuff, lost a lot of, lost a a lot of money, um, lost places, lost pets. And that's one thing. That's that's one thing totally. But I never talked about the abuse. Uh, I never talked about it. A lot of people seen it. Most people seen it. Uh, most people that seen it, they actually talked to me about it. It's like, hey, how can you take that? When I say abuse, I don't mean just like physical abuse. Because, yeah, that did happen. Uh, that did happen. But mental, like getting yelled at, basically told you're a piece of shit for the most part. Which, you know, she never called me a piece of shit. Uh, but she made me feel like it. Um, made me feel like I wasn't good enough. Like nothing I did was, uh, makes you happy. And this person was absolutely fucking toxic. Like, terrible. And I stuck with it for seven years. I took the abuse, you know. Um, rather being getting slapped and hit and... Uh, you know, let her friends roll and run all over me and, 
you know, just all all kinds of shit. Like a lot of people seen it. A lot of people seen that shit because uh, you know, it was around it. You know, we had her friends that was living with hers, and they say, "Hey, you treat him like ass." I don't know why he sticks around. Honestly, I don't know why he stuck around. Um, you know, I for some odd reason I felt like, "Hey, I'm not good enough, so I will endure this abuse so that maybe this person will be happy." And I don't care if I'm happy or not. So I'll I'll be the broken person for a while or as long as I have to. Um, but they, you know, taking so much abuse for years and years. You might be going through it yourself. It doesn't have to be boyfriend, girlfriend. Uh, it could be your marriage. It could be your friends. It could be your job. Uh, just people just pounding on you every fucking day. Uh, doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter uh, how well you perform, how good your intentions are. Uh, it seems like it never, never, never works out. And some of us are like that. Some of us, some of us, like we think, hey, we we can't do any better. Can't do any better. So I'll stick it out. I'll just stick it out. Some people just settle. You know, I I did. I I, I did. I settled. I didn't think I was going to get anybody better until you know Mrs. Biss came along and changed my mind, changed my whole perspective. Um. You know. There's always there's always that perfect person for you out there. There is. Um, just sometimes they're right in front of you. You know, getting used and abused and all this shit like it does take a toll on you. I had a friend. I had she wasn't a friend. Uh, somebody I really loved in high school. Um, you know, whenever I fell on hard times, uh, I stayed at their house. And, um, you know, I had my girlfriend with me at the time and was sleeping on her couch. And I went downstairs and one day she told me right in front of her husband, she's like, hey, you know, I just used you in high school to get over such and such. And uh, I treated you bad because I wanted to feel good about myself right in front of her husband. Like that fucking hurts. That hurts. Um. And now you see these people, they're like fucking miserable. Like they're terribly miserable with their lives. Um, it, karma's a bitch, right? Karma's a bitch. I, I don't wish bad things on people. I really don't. Like we may discuss people that I don't like. Maybe maybe jail or something like that. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, if you go to jail, you fucking go to jail. Um, that is what it is. But... You know, I don't wish any of the people that I was with, like, misery and hate and all this shit. You know, I hope the best for them. hope the best for them. Um, to me, you're just another uh, bad memory in my head. Um, you, manipulation is a regular thing. And, you know, you ha I, it took me forever to open up to Mrs. Bits. She'll tell you. There's some things I still you know, afraid of, like, I, I apologize for every single thing I do. It doesn't matter what it is. Uh, I always think that, um, I'm doing something wrong when I'm not. And this bitch, she always have to, Mrs. Bitch, she always corrects me and lets me know, Hey, you're not fucking up. You're not, you're doing good. Um, sometimes you need that positive ref reformation. What? You need something positive said to you from time to time. You can't be just like, smack, hit, piece of shit, go away, you're not worth my time, uh, I have better things to do than listen to you. Uh, I, I, and the reason why I think about that song, like, uh, by Jelly Rolls, like, you know, he's talking about you being broken and, like, beyond repair. Um, that's not always true. That's not always true. Me, I'm broken. I know I'm broken. Mrs. Bits does everything she can to fix me. I'm sure there's people in this audience, or the two or three people, or 20 people, or a thousand people that may pick up this video and are like, hey, man, like, yeah, 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 I have that person that treats me well. Um, you shouldn't have to stick through the abuse. You, you know, there's always a way out. That's what I'm trying to get to. There's always a way out. There always is. Um, 
And it's hard. It's hard as fuck to get out. Because, again, you're thinking in your head, hey, I'm, nobody wants me. I'm not good enough. Um, and this is coming from somebody that was living at my brother's uh, in a spare bedroom uh, for a little while. I didn't have a bed. I was sleeping on the floor uh, with blankets down. Um, then I finally got a bed. And Mrs. Bits seen, hey, this guy doesn't really have a job. Uh, he's a uh, <laughs> fat nerd that buys shit and he's broken as hell. For some odd reason, she's seen something in me. And I'm fucking happy, ecstatic. Like, every single day I look forward to waking up next to her. And, uh, you know, it took me years to find that. And every day she tells me, you're awesome. She she gives me a reason to feel good. She says, hey, you're amazing, basically. And I tell her, you're beautiful every day. Uh, even though... Both of us, like, we're, we're deep down, we're broken, we're, we're broken, we've been abused, um, her, she's been abused, she's been in some relationships with family, and that can stem from family, too. Like, like I said, it doesn't have to be exclusively to relationships. Like I said, it could be to friends, uh, family, uh, your job, whatever. Uh, you know, you can be abused, you can be constantly fucking abuse until you can't take it anymore until you're sitting chugging down anxiety pills drinking it away smoking it away uh doing whatever you can to make yourself feel better to get to the next day so you can do it all over again um it's not really fair it's not really fair when you think about it um and it does seem kind of stupid that somebody would put up with so much bullshit um and just let it happen but you're never, you really never know until you're in that position. You know, I, I have a hard time of letting people go. I really do. I, I don't. Like, I, I was getting cheated on and all that stuff. And I, I finally, finally ha had enough. And I was like, gone. Because it becomes toxic at that point. When it's so, like, so much abuse. Uh, like, it becomes to the point where... You hate your life. You want to end it. You don't care what happens next and next. And, you know, we argued. And this is family, too. I've had this with family. I've had this with friends. Like I said, it's not ex entirely exclusive. Um, and I know friends that are going through hell right now or went through hell. Currently, life has been great for me as of recently. Right now, the only thing that's really hurting me real bad is uh, me worrying about, hey, am I going to lose my dad tomorrow? I When I talk about mental health stuff, I really, really care about it. I, I'm not just pushing it on you and saying, <laughs> get over it. Take a pill. No, no, no. Fix yourself. Uh, get away from these people don't take the abuse. It's not, it's not fucking worth it. It's not worth it being broken. Then you carry that on to the next relationship only to ruin that relationship. You know, I've had times I'm sure, but I've drove Mrs. Bits up the wall. Or, I mean, I, I, she, she would probably tell you, um, sometimes you can't take it. Sometimes you can't take it. Once, once you're in an abusive relationship, you carry it on to the next relationship, then the next relationship. So it just keeps on piling on and piling on and piling on until you either A, break, or you finally break, or you become the abuser. Because that can ultimately happen too. You can be abused so much that you, in return, become the abuser because you kind of feel like, hey, this this is what life is. This is how relationships need to be. I need to be an abusive prick. I need to uh, drown all my sorrows with some alcohol. Uh, do just bad shit. Treat people like garbage. Because you feel like, hey, I've been treated like this my entire life. Why should I give anybody else a chance? Why shouldn't I be able to do that? Why? Why the fuck not? We've all been through it. Like I said, we all have. I'm sure you're watching this video and you're like, 
you know what? I fucking did. I, I have been through abuse. I, like I said, you, it's not, like I said, it's not even exclusive to physical, you know, walking around with bruises all over you. Uh, and, you know, I've had that. I get slapped in the face and all kinds of stuff just because, you know, they hated me, maybe. You just, you, they kind of treat you like trash. It's more them than it is you, for the most part. And if that's the case, that person needs to get help. They're just dragging their problems into the next relationship. Or friendship. Or family ship. Is that even a thing? We're all just dragging things around. Keeping our baggage when we should just be leaving it at the door. At the end of the day, that's what it needs to be. Just leave it. Walk away from it. Yeah, you can see it every once in a while. You're going to see that baggage. It's going to be there. It's always going to be there. It's never going to go away. Never. Never. The only thing you can say is, hey, I see it right there, but I'm not going to let it affect me. And, you know, I I could, <laughs> I really wish I could follow my own advice because, I, you know, I'm, uh, <laughs> I feel like if I did, I wouldn't be having this conversation. But I kind of felt like listening to that song today with my wife and, you know, she was comforting me because, you know, there's songs that make me, that kind of trigger me. I, I don't like to use trigger. That's not, nah. there's songs that really get to me, like, uh, emotionally. I'm sure, like, there's things like songs, movies, video games, uh, notes or something. There's something that's going to make you think of things, right? It makes you think of the past, whether it's good or bad. Um, and that's just one of those songs. Really, really love it. Really love that song. Uh, Jelly Roll is really cool. I don't know if you guys heard him, but check him out. Uh, he's he's a big bearded guy like me. Big, fat, bearded guy but with tattoos. But he's got tattoos on his face. I don't have tattoos on my face. Uh, but check it out. It's, uh, it's called Save Me by Jelly Roll. Uh, I promise you'll like it. Uh, before we go any longer, uh, let me just tell you. There's somebody out there that's going to be willing to treat you like you wanted to be treated. You just got to search. You can't just take the first person that gives you some kind of attention and turns out a couple months later, they're fucking terrible human beings. Same goes with your friendship. Same goes with your family. They treat you bad, walk away. Just fucking do it. Just fucking do it. Just walk away, no matter how hard it is. And whenever they ask, hey, where you where you at? Where why can't I abuse you anymore? Just tell them to fuck off. Eat eat lead or something. I don't know. Not lead. That actually sounds bad. That's I guess if you said that, it kind of sounds like uh tell them to shoot himself. Don't do that. Don't do that. Eat grass. That's better. Eat grass. Just tell them to go eat grass. And that's about it. That's all you need to do. Uh, stop taking abuse, guys. Stop taking the abuse. Uh, if you're experiencing abuse, don't be a fucking afraid to talk to somebody. Don't be afraid to talk to somebody. It could be your neighbor. Just talk to somebody. Get it out. Don't store it in here. Don't store it in here. If you're anything like me, you let things sit. You let things sit until they overflow and explode. Then, you know, you become a beast. You can't stop yourself. And you let all your anger and your rage out on one person. And it's dangerous. Dangerous because, you know, they get to see you in rare form. In a form that you don't want to show. You don't want to show people that shit. You don't. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Whenever I get set off after, you know, it finally boils over, you better watch out. Like, because I'm going to let you have it. I'm going to let you know. I'm not going to do physical things to you unless you want to. And I'm sure you're like that too. But don't, don't, don't let it sit in there. Don't, don't try not to. Uh, try not to. I, I don't care if you're a nice guy or nice girl or bad guy, bad girl. Don't, don't let it sit in there. Don't do it. Don't do it. Just let it go. Don't be abused. Talk to people. 
and hang in there. There's somebody out there just for you. Somebody out there, the perfect person. I swear to God, there's going to be somebody come into your life one day. Like I said, friends, family, something, they're going to come in and they're going to change your whole fucking world. They're going to make you feel like the person you want to feel like. But as long as you keep on bringing in toxic people, knowing they're toxic, then nothing's going to change. It will never change. It will always be the same. You'll just be miserable and you'll be living your life wishing that you should have done something a long time ago. So you wasted your life for nothing, right? There's too many bad people in the world and you're a good person, I hope. I love you guys. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you soon. Oh, yeah.